talk to you about the RFID capabilities we have at our facility in Preston, United Kingdom. This is a live manufacturing site, so please excuse the noise. RFID is experiencing quick growth and adoption across a wide range of applications within manufacturing, healthcare and transportation and logistics. Zebra is one of the largest converters of thermal printing supplies globally. We are experts in thermal printing and can recommend the right material and adhesive to reliably identify assets. All of the inlays available have been tested in our Zebra printers and the position of the inlay on the material is optimised for the fastest and most accurate encoding. With our in-house manufacturing capabilities, we offer high performance, general purpose, advanced and speciality inlays featuring the latest chips. We have the advantage of converting across the press with the ability to scale up and produce larger volumes. Now let's take a look at the press in action producing RFID labels. I'm going to walk you through the stages of creating an RFID label here in Preston. The process starts with the label raw materials. We have the capability to use paper or synthetic materials, either direct thermal or thermal transfer, to suit short and longer term applications. We can add an RFID inlay onto almost any material in our range and to either a label or a non-adhesive tag. Here we have a master roll of label material which is fed into the press. Now let's take a look at the process in some finer detail. Our RFID press has print capabilities. This is one of four print stations, which means we can offer a two colour preprint on the front and two colours on the reverse. We have a range of Zebra certified inlays with industry leading performance. The read range performance has been characterised on our Voyantic Tagformance test equipment, which checks the inlay performance on a variety of surfaces and orientations. Here, the label face material is separated from the liner or delaminated. The underside of the material at the top of the frame is covered with adhesive. Below you can see the liner material and in the centre the roll of inlays which have no adhesive, otherwise known as dry inlays. In this case there are three inlays across. The inlays are cut into individual rows or strips and you can see the inlays have been applied to the exposed adhesive side of the label. At the same time adhesive is being applied to the liner in a precise position before the liner and face are laminated back together with the inlay in between. The adhesive transfers to the back of the inlay, making the entire label sticky again. The label shape is then cut using a metal die and the waste material stripped away, and then the labels are slit into individual rolls. The turret rewinder can count and wind multiple rolls at a time. Cores are fed into the machine and glue applied to the core to secure the end of the roll. It then winds and counts the labels precisely, cutting and sealing the roll ends when complete. Rolls are then labelled in the core with the relevant details and are secured in boxes with inserts to remove the possibility of damage to the chips during transit. So, that was our RFID press in action. As you've seen, we have the capabilities to create custom RFID solutions with a wide variety of RFID inlays and label materials. We also have our stock zip ship range of labels and wristbands, along with sample rolls to allow you to quickly and easily move to proof of concept. For more information about Zebra's RFID solutions, speak to your Zebra reseller or visit zebra.com.